Hello everyone, welcome to our next session, Geography class, Standard Tenth, Chapter Number Five, Natural Vegetation and Wildlife. So today we are going to learn about the wildlife in Brazil and India. In Part One, we saw that the animals which are common both in India and Brazil. So in this session. We are going to learn that the wildlife or the animals, birds, insects, which all we can see in Brazil and in India. If you are observing a particular place, we know that the animals, birds, insects, everything, it is differed from one place to another place. Can you tell the reason for that? We know that according to its the region's climate, the availability of the food, and the atmosphere, environmental changes, all are the effective factors which all are influencing the regions where these animals, birds, or insects are living. For example, we know that in the Amazon rainforest or in Brazil, there were green forests. There we can see different species of flora and fauna. Can you tell the reason for that? Because it is a very green forest. It is providing the food for the animals or the birds. Climate. And it is good place for these wildlife to live there. Because all the factors or facilities or the provisions for these animals are very supportive one. So according to that, each region we can see according to the variations in the regions or the places, the birds, animals or all together the fauna will be different. So if you are observing like this. In Brazil, we can see that in different regions, different types of animals, birds, insects, we can see there. So, we will see one by one. The first one is equatorial forest. Equatorial forest means we know that the equatorial region. What are the features there? Direct sun rays are reaching because of that high temperature and high amount of rainfall. Dense forest are the features in the equatorial regions. The animals or the birds which we can find there are contours, tumbling lion, different species of birds, insects, etc. Because the supportive atmosphere for this type of wildlife or the fauna is more there. And the second one it is tropical grassland. Here it is a grassland. Here the tropical grassland is also known as savanna. Third one it is swampy land. Swampy land means marshy land or wetland. We have learned in the third chapter which is the largest wetland in the world. It is Pantala. Where it is located? In Brazil. So Pantala or in the wetland huge anacondas are found in the Pantala. We know that in which region it is located? In the southwest of the Brazil. Near to which river system? Parana and Paragay river system. So normally in which all regions we can find the wetlands? Where the water bodies are there near to that regions we can find the wetlands. The next one it is hot deciduous forest. Fling, flamingos, the bird is most common. We can, commonly we can find in this region. Next one it is thorny shrubs. Thorny shrubs are also known as catinga. In Brazil, Tony Shooks, it is known as Katinga. The last one it is Pampas. This is temperate grassland. So, in these all regions, this type of animals or the birds found, we will see with the help of the map, the regions, different faunas found here. So, dear students, here you can see uh, the map of wildlife in Brazil which is given in your textbook page number 34 so here you can see 
it is the first one it is equatorial forest if you are observing here the equatorial forest different variety species of birds and animals we can found here uh, the first one it is here the condor and it is flying up to the height too much height in the sky and this is tamarind lion is a type of uh, monkey it's a species of monkey we can found here and other other species of monkeys are also uh, famous and wide variety of these monkeys we can found in this region same as squirrel and different variety parrots are also we can found snakes uh, this species of snakes and birds variety uh, animals or the faunas we can found in the equatorial forest because we know that the abundant sunlight and rainfall is supportive to the vegetation and it is a fodder for these animals or the birds and the second one it is tropical grasslands in this tropical grasslands uh, of brazil is known as savanna here we can see uh, a variety species of macaw it is an endangered endangered animal or it is going to extinct from the world and here another one we can see the alligators and different types of uh, grassland animals also we can found in this savanna or the tropical grassland region in brazil and the third one it is swampy land swampy land here you can see the swampy land uh, in swampy land of brazil we can found the huge anacondas then the fourth one it is hot deciduous forest in the hot deciduous forest uh, we can found like uh, flamingos like different birds varieties we can found in the hot deciduous forest the fifth one it is thorny shrubs thorny shrubs is located here and in brazil thorny shrubs are also uh, known as the caatinga so in this region we can found the animals such as jaguar wild cats cavies different types of monkeys and sphinx macaw which is going to enchanted bird is also found in the caatinga and the last one it is pampas that is a temperate grassland the temperate grassland in brazil is known as pampas so i hope all of you understood in which of regions which type of uh, animals birds uh, and all are okay so here mainly you have to learn about the names of this fauna which region which type of uh, animals we can found there name of the animal name of the bird such a type of questions you can expect from this map based questions map based questions are asking so please learn it according to its specialities according to the number of varieties uh, the number of varieties of this fauna it is also different from one region to another region different varieties in species of birds and animals we found but in the uh, savanna or caatinga or temperate grassland that is pampas these all are less or comparing comparatively less species of this fauna we can found what are the reasons and all this fauna in brazil learn about that in brazil these animals or this fauna or wildlife and the vegetation is uh, on the verge of extinction so what are the main reasons for that we know that the greediness of the men are the main reason in the name of the developments people what we are doing cutting down the trees and we are making use that land for our construction purposes or many other projects we know that for the development of a country it is needed but at the same time what we have to do we have to maintain it how we will maintain if we are cutting down one tree we have to plant it okay it is known as sustainable development sustainable development development is needed at the same manner we have to preserve it or we have to save our nature or environment degradation of environment is occurring due to illegal smuggling you know about the smuggling smuggling of these animals horn teeth skin it has so it is getting lot of or high value of the price in the market because it is an illegal thing and uh, it is banned one why it is banned one because in order to protect the environment 
in the sense should be protected and we are going to be should be protected in order to maintain the eco balance you learn about the balance of ecosystem so that balance of ecosystem uh, should be maintained and we have to uh, save this nature nature means including the vegetation and wildlife to our future generation also nowadays many of the species of the wild animals are some already extinct and some are going to extinct so illegal smuggling of wild animals the next one is slash and burn agriculture what is slash and burn agriculture slash and burn it what in the land the trees are cutting down and afterwards it is burning so what is the main idea behind that one after burning we will get the ash so for the farm farmers are mixing this ash into the soil in order to increase the fertility of the soil okay in order to increase the fertility of the soil so that land will be most suitable for the agriculture so for that purpose many of the farmers in brazil are following the slash and burn agriculture but actually it is it is affecting or it is making lot of negative effects because if we are cutting down the trees means it is affecting the balance of the ecosystem or balance of the environment next one deforestation the same thing for the development purposes we are cutting down the trees and next one pollution pollution is affecting the environment because of the human or the because of us or we are the main reasons for the pollution it is affecting in different manner to us also to animals also birds also environment also everywhere Thank you.